actually there's a couple of different ones here. So you get, you get one of each in a four inch pot. So this is what they're gonna look like, but this is what they're gonna look like when you get them delivered. That's a little bit easier for me to understand. All right, so <clears throat> what I love about these, and by the way, many of, of Crotons are crazy popular here in Florida. I actually have a version of these outside um, in the front of my yard. I have a couple of them and they grow. They get very, very big and multicolor as they get older, they're gorgeous. Um, you probably have heard of them before. This is the two piece uh, Croton Duo houseplant. So what you're gonna get is you're gonna get the um, Petra in a four inch pot. And then you're also gonna get the red Iston in a four inch pot as well. I'm gonna grab a drink of water and I'm gonna let Rochelle tell you all about these. Go ahead, Rochelle. Oh, guy, we got we had a quick switcheroo of the plants um, right before we went on because the crotons weren't quite ready. And so these are actually a bird's nest fern and a pilia, which are uh, two really fantastic house plants. If you don't know um, these, this uh, the pilia, which is there on the left, that is uh, also called a Chinese money plant. It's super cute. What I love about these, these are fantastic house plants. These little uh, leaves, they're almost, they're like, they are a succulent actually. So they have a thickness to them, even though they're um, not, not as thick as your typical succulent. But here's my favorite part about these. These throw out, if you can look here, you can see this, they throw out what we call pups and you can, uh, plant the pups, you just trim them off. You can take them and put them in another pot. These are just such nice plants for um, giving away ultimately because they, they create new plants um, very, very easily. Super fun house plant, likes, um, likes a bright room, doesn't necessarily want direct sunlight. Neither of these really want that. They'll be fine um, just in a nice bright room, indirect light. And then the other is the bird's nest fern. Look at this, this is so fun. This is what we call an epiphyte in the wild. This is actually growing. It, it does grow on the ground, but it can also grow like on other trees. And we call it the bird's nest fern because it is literally like a bird's nest. Like it's, you know, it looks kind of, doesn't it look like a bird's nest right there? So um, this gets uh, to be this nice big vase shape. It throws out um, new leaves. They they literally unfurl. I don't know if you can see this one in here. It um, right in here, it literally rolls out like a red carpet, like, you know, kind of just uncurls, which is really cute. Uh, this is a great plant. Um, this is great in your house. Um, this will also do nicely if you want to move it outdoors. But I think this one, this is one I always think about putting like in the bathroom because it loves a nice humid area. So if you, um, you know, want to have a plant that really is particularly happy when you take a shower, that's going to be this bird's nest fern. Did you, uh, are you back, Guy? Are yeah, you, I'm uh, back, you, yeah, you know, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> You're right, honey, they, they did, they switched it at the last minute and they and I never got the yeah. new card, but <laughs> what we've got, we've got houseplants. And I will tell you, yeah. I have had so much luck with Leaf and Petals houseplants at my house. Um, you know, I, that ponytail palm that I have, I had the snake plant. I love all those plants. They do so well indoors. So for those of you that want to bring a little greenery inside, you could still have them outside, you know, in, in good weather, but I, I love them. I think, I think it's gr a great variety. Um, and these are really beautiful. I love the color variation yeah. in there, little yellow and green. They're, they're, they're gorgeous. They're super fresh looking. In fact, yes. um, they don't even like these new leaves. When they throw them out, they, they, they have such a freshness to them that um, I'm, I'm told that I'm, I don't but um, that, those new leaves, they don't even like to be touched. They'll, they'll kind of, they're just, they have this kind of just fresh greenness that, you know, they don't, uh, they don't even want to be touched and you <laughs> kind of don't want to touch them because they look so fresh. Uh, whereas the Chinese money plant, like these, I mean, these touch away, they, and, and the pups, the pups are the best part because all you, literally all you have to do is clip off these little babies and they throw them out all the time and just put it in, you can put it in water uh, but I find that they've actually um, rooted better for me. If I just like shove them in dirt and let them go a few weeks later, they've rooted out and I've got a whole new little, um, a whole new little money plant, which is I so, it. it's such a nice gift. It's, that, you know what? I mean, these get really nice size yeah. too, which They're, is really great. They fill out really, really well. And it's nice to have that beautiful rich green color uh, in your house or around your house. If you want to get these, 745-433. I'm sorry to rush along, but we've got so much to cover in the show. We've got our hummingbird plant coming up next, which I'm so excited. That's why my favorite all-time plant.